What is going on guys? So today I'm going to go into details about my new Diablo 2 clan Throne of Sanctuary. Make sure you guys check the description below and you guys can skip to certain parts of the video that you want to see based on the topics that I'm talking about. So in this video I'm going to go over all the details about the clan, how we're going to be playing the new ladder season, and how to join the clan. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over what specifically is Throne of Sanctuary all about. So first off, Throne of Sanctuary is free to join. All you have to do is put TOS in your name on Diablo 2 or on Discord, which I'll show you guys how to do all that. And then you basically just represent the guild. But this guild is going to be a lot different than the majority of Diablo 2 players and how they're playing the game right now. So Throne of Sanctuary is going to be a very legitimate Diablo 2 clan. We're going to be playing on battle.net we're going to be playing as legitimate as possible and there's many different details and a lot of things that i need to go over with you guys for you to understand why we're playing the way we are and the things that we are doing so the first thing about throne of sanctuary is you know no hacks no map hack no botting we won't be using d2jsp the reason why we won't be using d2jsp is because you know so many bots are on d2jsp and it's just really easy to get all the items with with your jsp gold and it just it, it it makes the items in diablo 2 not as valuable as they should be because of people botting now i know you guys know that i've used G d2jsp before and now that i know how to use single player characters and i know how to use d2se i don't need to use d2jsp anymore and if there's any kind of question as to whether you guys think i'm still using it or not when the new ladder reset comes about i will make sure that all of my items are recorded that i find on 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 diablo 2 on my new ladder character and you guys will be able to check out my d2 jsp account to see what i'm doing on there so the next thing guys you know there's a lot of other really specific rules that we want to follow to be a, a legitimate clan here on diablo 2 and there's a lot of steps that we all need to follow now i know that everyone isn't going to be you know going by these rules and i can't enforce everyone to do what they want to do but myself and a lot of my close friends and players on my discord this is the way that we're going to play and this is the way that we want to play diablo 2 because it's just not fun anymore to just get everything that we want and have all the high runes and have enigmas in the first week of lottery set it just doesn't make any sense to us anymore and it's just not rewarding anymore to play the game that way i can do all that stuff on single player now thanks thankfully since there's so many people out there that are willing to help me get some of these complex requests that i want when it comes to creating builds and doing things like that on diablo 2 so we're very specific a lot of, about a lot of these things that in the way that we're going to be playing diablo 2 so no d2 jsp we won't be following bot games around it, it that that just devalues all the items also when you're just level 20 and you're following a bot around in a chaos game and you're just getting free items you know you're basically just getting everything handed to you so we won't be following bot games around we'll be playing softcore and hardcore i will mainly be playing hardcore this ladder reset but i will have some softcore characters for when we do like subscriber sundays or some other stream like that also, we won't be trading with each other. We will be trading with each other within the clan, but we won't be trading with anyone that's outside of the clan because they might have gotten those items from bots, or it could just be some random person that could be just running their bot on their own and in their own private games, and that's how they obtain their item. We really want to feel rewarded when we get our items, and especially myself, all of my items I want to be found when I'm there. So if I'm not in the game when that item drops, especially if it's a high-level item, or an extremely rare item i don't want it i want to make sure that i'm there to record it and i have everything there so i i can make my character as legitimate as possible on battle.net also we're going to have a fair loot system so when you're playing with myself or any other of the really higher up people in the clan we have a fair loot system so if something drops you know we're not just all quick to pick it up we want to make sure especially on hardcore we want to make sure that an item goes to a person that benefits it the most and then it benefits the group better for our overall survivability on hardcore so we really want to have a fair loot system when it comes to playing with other clan members so the next thing i'm going to do is show you guys how to join the guild so if you want to put tos in your name all you have to do is log into your account 
you know, obviously just make a new character. And we're going to be putting TOS in the front of our names, capital T, lowercase o, and cap capitalized S, and then underscore and your name. So if you want to be a part of the guild, you can just do that by representing the guild and putting TOS in your name on Diablo 2. That's optional. I'm not going to say that you guys aren't a part of the guild or a part of my community just because you don't have TOS in your name. That's just something that's optional for you guys. So then another thing, if you guys want to join up in the Throne of Sanctuary Diablo 2 chat, all you got to do is log into your character, enter the chat, and type home slash home op space tos so and then every time you enter the game you will be in the clan chat channel so and the reason why op is there that that makes that gives me the moderator position of the chat channel since my account name is tos so op has to be in it for me to get moderator privileges when people come in with spammers and things like that so and the next thing i'm going to do is show you guys how to put tos in your name on discord so say we're over here on discord what you want to do is if you guys want to join the discord channel for the guild there's a link for that in the description below so if you want to put tos in your name like boss right here all you got to do is find your name over here on the right we'll use my name for example you want to right click on your name and click change nickname and then just put tos just like that and then your name so and all that does is it just changes your nickname here on this Discord channel. It doesn't change your your account name or, or anything like that. So it's not like wherever you go on Discord, your name's going to be like that forever. It's just a nickname and it's something temporary. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is how I'm going to be playing this new ladder reset. So I'm not going to be using D2JSP. And the reason why I'm not going to be doing D2JSP is because I explained it before. It's just not rewarding to use it anymore. It is a good system, and if Blizzard had some kind of system that we could use in the game, you know, if there was no botting at all or there was no bots or anything like that, D2JSP would be perfect for trading and obtaining the items that we want in Diablo 2. But since there's so many bots and, and so many bots are trading their things on D2JSP, it really devalues the items on Diablo 2 and it makes them so much more obtainable to the point where it's just, it, it's not fun anymore and it, it's not rewarding. There's almost no point to a ladder reset anymore because you just get everything that you want so easily and that's why we're myself and a lot of other people were starting to you know we want to play more legitimate and we want to something to look forward to instead of just getting everything handed to us for so long so a lot of you guys are probably going to be asking about like you know my single player characters and everything like that so obviously i'm going to be playing my single player characters and showing you guys experimental builds and things like that and those are builds where i don't have to obtain the items manually so that's just so i can experiment with builds and experiment with the game and show you guys some weird builds and just come up with things in diablo 2 and just mess around a little bit but here on battle.net it's going to be completely different for me now so before I had to use D2JSP to obtain all of my items because I didn't know how to use single player characters and, and how to get all my items on there without having to trade and do all this stuff. So, you know, it's going to be a lot different for me. I'm still going to be playing my single player characters and those are obviously not self-found characters. They're just my experimental characters for my builds and things like that. So but when it comes to me playing on Battle.net, every single item that I obtain on my character is going to be recorded. So if there's ever any question as to whether my character is legit or not, or if I actually obtained this item or I got it, if you guys think I got it on JSP or whatever, there will be no question about it because I will have every second of my character's gameplay recorded just in case you guys have those doubts about how I obtained my items or, or whatever. And just another thing guys, it's nothing against other people that want to use D2JSP. It's not against other people that want to map hack or bot or anything like that. I think the more we argue about that stuff, the more that just divides the Diablo 2 community. This is just the way that we want to play and this is this is just what we want from Diablo 2 and they're we're not trying to offend anyone else that wants to play differently. This is just what we want to represent and what we want to be a part of here on Throne of Sanctuary on this clan. 
So next thing I want to talk about is some guild rules for you guys in the Discord chat. So the first thing is I want to make sure that you guys respect each other. We all have respect for each other and I really have a, a you know, I do not tolerate any kind of bad name calling or arguing in the Discord. If there's some kind of argument that you guys have or or you have some some kind of political argument about Diablo 2 like whether you should bot or you shouldn't bot or you know or or whatever it is, just take that stuff to private chat, guys. You know, other people really don't want to hear all that stuff and I I'd really appreciate it if you guys could take those comments and take those conversations to private messages because it just causes, you know, drama in the Discord channel for everybody. And that's another thing guys, I just really don't want you arguing in my Discord channel about the, your certain gameplay style preferences because everyone has a different Everyone has a dozen different ways about how they want to play Diablo 2 and many Diablo 2 players are quick to criticize each other over that and I really don't want to to bring that to this community or any community. It, it's all about us coming together and enjoying this game together and if you know we disagree on something we need to learn to agree to disagree. This is another thing I take very very seriously guys. Now. You guys know I swear all the time. I mean, I say, you know, the F word and, and all that stuff all the time. But I take it very seriously when people start saying some racist or sexist comments here on my Discord channel. I take that very, very seriously. Now, I'll warn you once about it, but if it happens again, I will ban you from the Discord. You guys would be really surprised how many very young kids come into my Discord. 13, 15, 16 year old kids. You know, and I get to know these kids a little bit and, and then, you know, come to find out that they're going through struggles of their own and then people are, are you know, saying saying faggot or, or whatever. You know, we don't want to say those types of things and make those people feel left out of the guild because we're saying those sexist or, or hatred comments about other people. So please, guys, please try to make sure that you don't say anything that could offend anybody because, you know, at the end of the day, I am basically like a public figure. I'm not some PewDiePie or whatever, but I have a reputation for myself and there are a lot of little kids that look up to me and, you know, it's my job on my Discord to make sure that I make a healthy community and make sure that, that you know, everyone feels welcome to my community. I really... Like I said, I do not tolerate any kind of comments like that, and you guys really have to keep that stuff to yourself. Now, obviously, if you're just saying something like, like, damn it or shit, I mean, it's really not a big deal, guys. I mean, we're all adults here. This is a very old game. I think you guys know how to act on a, on a normal basis, and um, I would just really appreciate it if we can try and be as, you know, professional as possible, but at the same time be gamers, just, you know, Try to think about what you say before you say it because it could really affect someone else in a major way and you might not even know it. So next thing I'm going to talk about guys is playing with me on Hardcore in my group. So um, I have a very small circle that I'm going to be playing with on Hardcore and we will be bringing some other people in. We're really looking for Barbarians, Windy Druids and Paladins are really good. Especially Barbarians and um, Windy Druids. They're, they're very very good on Hardcore. And those are the type of classes that we're looking for. We're not saying, um, you know, we're not looking for sorceresses or whatever. DPS works too. There's going to be a ton of DPS characters. But um, barbarians, druids, and paladins are really going to be some big ones there. So if you guys want to try and get into my hardcore groups, um, it's it, you're kind of going to have to go through a process to where we can, um, you know, trust you in a way. Because I do have a lot of trolls after me and a lot of people will try to PK me on hardcore because, you know, because, you know, people know about me and, you know, they'll think it's funny to PK me on hardcore. So um, there's going to be some rules about that too. And, and one of the major rules is do, do not ever hostile me or, or the party. I mean, not even a joke. I mean... Once it happens, if it happens one time, I mean, it, it, it's done. You're out. We won't, we won't play with you. There, there, there's no messing around like that. There's no leaving the party and then trying to hostile me and then trying to act like it's okay. If you guys hostile me, um, it, it's over. So you know, just be very careful with that. You know, maybe if it's one of my close friends and they're messing around, you know, no big deal. But, um, you know, we're going to be taking that very seriously, and it's hardcore. I mean, you die once, your character's gone. 
The other thing is if you guys get into my group, if you guys are playing with me on Hardcore, you guys have to have a Discord voice chat. I'm taking Hardcore very seriously and we want to get as far as we can on there. So we would really appreciate it if you're trying to get into the group. If it's not full already at the time, you guys can hop in on voice chat so we can all communicate and just it, it betters the survivability for all of us on Hardcore. So and if the, if the group is full on eight players, like at the beginning, of the ladder resets my group's probably going to be full um that that's not that's not to say that my group's going to be full all the time so don't feel like you're left out of my group if we already have eight people at the time we're playing you know we'll always be bringing people in and out so just make sure you guys send me a message on discord and you know kind of just get to know me a little bit better before i bring you guys into my hardcore group softcore that's going to be a little bit different I mean, I, there's not too much to be worried about there, and um, but that's just the way it's going to work on Hardcore. Also, another thing, guys, is if you're grouped up with me, if you're like DJ Waters or something like that, and you're grouped up with me, and um, say DJ, this is an example, if DJ Waters is streaming, you know, I'm going to want him or whoever it is, if they're streaming in there in my group, I want to make sure that they have their game name covered so then people aren't following us in our hardcore games and stalking us and trying to PK us every single game. So really try and stick to keep keeping our hardcore games private. So another thing we will be doing guys is we will be starting a clan bank. Myself and some of my close people in the Discord channel will have access to this Diablo 2 account where we will be accepting items from you guys and we will be giving them to clan members. Now we're going to be very specific about how clan members receive items and what items they give to us. So obviously if it's something that is an extremely rare item like if it's an Enigma or something like that, um, there's going to have to be some kind of video proof that you got it and even if you did get any an enigma we're probably not even going to accept something like that until we actually find something as rare as that item ourselves probably to start off with the lottery set we're just going to be accepting set items and low level unique items but um, you know we're really going to be taking a lot of uh, precautions when it comes to you know taking in very high end items, just so we keep the le the legitimacy of our gameplay in Diablo 2 going as as well as we can. So, but for for myself, I'm going to be all self found and all group found, so I won't be taking anything from the clan bank. And um, I appreciate all the items that you guys would like to give me throughout your adventures, but I'm not going to be using any of the, any of those because I want to keep my experience on Diablo 2 as legitimate as possible and one thing to note that when you to receive something from the clan bank you have to first put something in and what we'll be doing is we will have a Google spreadsheet where you guys can take a look at that publicly and you guys can see the items that are available in the guild bank and we'll also be monitoring that seeing who's putting in what items and and um, you know, writing down who put in what and who's putting in the most and what items are available for you guys to put in there just so we can help out each other a little bit and help out the community get their items together. But um, like I said, as for me, it'll be a little bit different. This is something to kind of help out the whole community as a as a whole and just do something for, for each other. So that's about it for this video guys. I know there's a lot of details I had to go over with you guys and I probably didn't get every single little detail about the clan and how I'm going to be playing the new ladder reset. So make sure you guys let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any questions about anything clan related or anything about how I'm going to be playing the new ladder reset this season. Make sure you guys let me know so I can answer all your questions in the comment section. And as I said before, I'm going to be doing a stream tomorrow at around 5 p.m. Eastern time. We'll do a stream Q&A where you guys can answer, get some of your questions answered by myself on stream. So thank you guys so much for watching. I just want to welcome you guys to Throne of Sanctuary. I'm so excited for this clan and um you know so many things i had to go over in this video and i'm sorry if it was long guys but um i really had to get all this stuff out there so you guys have a better understanding of what this is going to be about so thank you guys so much i love you guys make sure you subscribe if you want to keep up with diablo 2 content make sure you guys hit that little bell button down there if you guys want to get notifications when my d2 videos come out and i will see you guys later